The FBI says a Plano-based Nigerian national targeted several victims, including a Fort Worth charity. The charity says the scammer and his associates might have left them in financial ruin if the bank had not stepped in. Fox 4's David Centendry explains how it happened. David. Yeah, Heather, the FBI says it can be very difficult to track down cyber fraud suspects. Oftentimes they get away, so they're glad this one is heading to federal prison for a 34-year sentence. Babatope Aderinoy, a Nigerian national living in Plano, was sentenced last week to 34 years in federal prison for a multi-million dollar fraud scheme targeting senior citizens, a school district, and even a charity helping families of terminally ill patients. In today's time, you just have to be aware of what's going on. Christina Robertson says her Fort Worth nonprofit got taken for $100,000. She runs Project 4031. They provide financial relief to families of terminally ill patients. Some of those names are tagged to their wall. Just feel very blessed to be able to be a part of it. They also fulfill final wishes, anything from a trip to a Rangers game to Christmas presents. Um, he wanted to give Christmas to his kids. Robertson says her bank noticed a suspicious email request for a money transfer. Turns out her email account was hacked. I think he was just fishing and kind of seeing who he could catch. The FBI says starting in 2018, Adarinoy used fake passports to set up fake businesses and bank accounts. He's tied to at least 13 aliases, 12 fake businesses, and 40 fraudulent bank accounts. He and his co-conspirators used various email and phone scams, posing as someone familiar and encouraging victims to wire money. They then transfer the money to a Nigerian bank account. Feds say he stole more than $6.7 million from a lengthy list of victims. I think we were very naive at the time, thinking that it would not happen to us, even though we were taking what we thought were appropriate procedures, they weren't enough. Project 4031 had to close bank accounts, but was able to recoup all of its losses, and they're back to helping people while warning others to watch out for scammers. Again, like I said, our policies and procedures and actions that we took, that was a great lesson learned. The school district community ISD was also targeted, but they were able to avert that fraud attempt and they alerted authorities. Darinoy is forced to pay $2 million in restitution towards some of the victims, but feds think that there could be more victims still.